So I just noticed something on the, on the Marvel official website. And it just says here that they said the Avengers Endgame Trailer 2 featuring Captain Marvel. And this trailer is kind of referred to whether it takes, which kind of makes sense. But just here, it, it says additional heroes include Rocket, Nebula, and of course, Captain Marvel. So they've made a big issue of Captain Marvel. And in a previous video, I, it, I'm trying to understand why they're doing that. Is it because they're trying to still promote the current Captain Marvel movie, which kind of makes sense. It's, it's a very good marketing process to use and very effective it's what i'm concerned about is they're going to try and give more and more hot air to captain marvel so they're going to build up captain marvel constantly and captain marvel will eclipse all the previous avengers and that is something that really bothers me and it bothers most fans of marvel you know this 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 universe has been around for 10 years in this in the cinema and now a, a new character is going to come along and take away all the prestige from the likes of iron man and Thor and Black Widow and many fans don't want that but I'm also puzzled because Captain Marvel the current movie that's out we, we were told it's based on feminism and it was heavily marketed based on feminism and you know the soundtrack is mo almost ex exclusively female all these different points of feminism but that was set in 1995 so if in Endgame Captain Marvel is introduced into the Avengers or she takes over the Avengers in some way but she doesn't have time to express her feminist opinions or points of view as a character and that kind of diminishes the whole role of Captain Marvel so you know in 1995 she was a feminist yet come 2019 she's no longer a feminist it kind of like diminishes what this character is about and it, it shows that she's she was a feminist and now she's now now she's no longer a feminist unless she tries the the character tries to create some form of way where the the other Avengers, who are, who are mostly male, to be honest, as you all know, I have to kind of like prove themselves to her. So Captain Marvel, come along, she will test the, the the Avengers, and the Avengers have to prove how good they are to Captain Marvel, because she is, you know, a feminist. Or she will try and have this feminist agenda, which might push the other Avengers away from her. So she, so they, she because she's kind of like dislikes men and pushes against men, because she claims that men told her she couldn't do what she wanted to do when she was a child, just learn nonsense. She'll start to push four and the other male characters away from her. But also, I just want to reatify what I've said in previous videos. That, it, that Captain Marvel isn't based on feminism at all. It's just a complete con. Because because Disney, which who own Marvel, pay women less than men. So this is just a movie that's making Disney, who pay women less than men, a billion dollars. So it's like it's like vegans and vegetarians giving their money to McDonald's. It, none of this makes any sense, and that's why there's so much confusion surrounding this movie, because it isn't a feminist movie. If it if a feminist won't go and help give a billion dollars to a business that makes that pays women less than men, and Disney's shown in Britain they they were legally required to submit their pay wages between men and women, and showed that they pay men. 22% more before bonuses then around 40% more 40% more than women after bonuses or, or including bonuses so we know that Disney do pay women more than men so why would a feminist want to help them to make more money because Disney don't need to give women a pay rise now because Disney know they can make a load of money it's like if you know if a vegetarian went, went to McDonald's and bought a load of burgers and then turned around to McDonald's and said oh, I want you to stop selling meat mcdonald's would be very confused and they would know they didn't they don't need to stop selling meat because the vegetarians are buying it from them it's it's a very confusing picture but i don't understand what process that captain marvel will use in endgame because if she comes along with this feminism traits and this, this personality based on feminist and testing men then i don't think it will really work and i don't think there'll be time for it so it, it might come across that Captain Marvel has actually lost her feminism, and that will ruin the kind of the the character. It's a very confusing picture. You know, the, the built up Captain Marvel movie on feminism, and now in an Endgame, she's she's not a feminist. She's just a normal character who is able to get along with both men and women. It's a very confusing picture. If you have any thoughts on this, please leave in the comments below. But I just wanted to point out this is what made me think of it. How it says here that that the tr this trailer features the original characters plus sort of additional heroes and of course captain marvel what well, why say of course you know just we we know that captain marvel is going to be an end game because everybody knows that so why say of course why build up it just seems a bit kind of obnoxious that they're going to try and push captain marvel so much 
and try and force it upon us and shoehorn Captain Marvel in so much that it's everywhere you go, it's going to be Captain Marvel. And that's what most fans don't want. You know, the, the people who've watched these movies for the last 10 years, they don't want it. The Captain Marvel fans who have come along, the new ones, they may want it. But I believe they'll be, they'll send, well, they'll certainly be in the minority of fans, I would think. Let me know what you, what you think in the comments below. But I don't know why they're saying, of course, and why they're building up Captain Marvel so, so much. It's, it's, it seems a bit disruptive to me. Let me know what you think in the comments below.